What is up, vinyl community? My name is Kieran, channel's Needle Groove. Hope everyone's doing well. Ooh. What I just put on the table is Kenny Barron, Innocence. This is a recent find from uh, this past weekend, uh, from 1978 on uh, Wolf Records. Familiar musicians on here are Jimmy Owens and uh, Billy Hart, Sunny Fortune. Buster Williams. Cheap record. Really recommend it. If you like Rhodes. Okay, last couple videos were the records I picked up in Detroit at all the shops I went to. And uh, what I have here is the records that I um, bought throughout the year, so a uh, full year of uh, online buys. There's quite a few of them. And I don't know how many I'll be able to show in this video because I got about, I gotta say, a, a crate full. Um, I would have loved to kind of listen to them all and, uh, and you know, but before showing them, but it's not really possible because it would, you know, take, it's gonna take me a while. Uh, so I'm just gonna show them because I, I have three places I listen to records in my in my um, in my apartment, and records end up all over the place. And I already was like, okay, this is gonna get out of hand. Um, they're kind of spread out um, in different places, so I kind of just regrouped them and wanted to show them to you guys. I've listened to a bunch of them over the past. Uh, I've been back two weeks now, um, but I uh, you know obviously split in what I listened to between this crate and what I brought back and stuff from my collection. Uh, so yeah, it's a mix of stuff and it's in no particular order. It's mostly jazz as usual. If you're new to my channel, um, I usually show jazz, uh, some soul, funk, stuff like that. So this is, oh, by the way, this is, uh, you know, some Discog, some eBay, quite a bit of Instagram buys um, from other members of the VC. See, just found one spread out. Okay, so first up, Minnie Ripperton, um, Come to My Garden, orchestra arranged and conducted by Charles Stephanie. Um, so this is a nice kind of, uh, picked up this one, which I showed. Actually, this was an online buy, but I showed it in my other video because I picked it up on my travels from who I bought it from. But anyway, this is on GRT. There's a repress from a year or two later on, on Janice. Um, record that I had been seen, you know, posted, heard, talked about. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, I think this is one that I, I enjoyed it right off the bat, but I think the more I listen to it, it's gonna grow on me even more. I listened to this on Sunday morning when I woke up and it was just perfect. Uh, very interesting, not your typical kind of like soul album of the day, um, bit more um, depth to it, I would say. Um, yeah, so beautiful cover and appropriate for the beautiful music contained in the grooves. Happy songs and melancholy. Morning flowers and afternoon hours and hidden memories. It's uh, appropriate. Next up is completely other end of the spectrum. This is uh, Sunny Simmons. And um, this is definitely a, a heavy piece. This is on ESP. Um, I don't even remember the name of this album, to be honest. It's, I want to say, it doesn't even say it on here. I want to say, shh, it just says More Sunny Simmons. There is a name to this record, though. Very strange. Anyway, beautiful cover on ESP. I listened to one side of this. Um, it's, it's, it's heavy, but it's not like super, super dense. Um, some really nice interplay between the musicians. Um, it's not just like a wall of sound, like some free jazz, which is a bit much for me, but uh, Barbara Donald um, joins on trumpet, uh, Junie Booth on bass, um, and just crazy beautiful artwork here. And you lo I love those ESP labels. And this one is from, I wanna say, yeah, it's 1968. 
I also wanted to, to show you these because as, as I listen to them and put them in these um, Jap Japanese sleeves um, and I kind of, for the more valuable ones, I'll put the records in the back. So kind of like once I, once I seal them, it's kind of harder to, to pull them in and out fast, quickly to show them in videos. Um, this was a major one of mine. It was uh, the only Strata East uh, addition this year to the to the collection. Um, kind of getting harder to, to find these records and more expensive. Um, there's definitely a few I don't have, but this is one that I was able to track down for a, you know a reasonable price. And uh, this is um, Land of the Blacks, Al Kebulan, Land of the Blacks by Matume. This is a live record, live at the East. Again, crazy really cool beautiful artwork kind of representative of the music i would say um this one is i've spun it a few times already and i like i like it but i i need to listen to it more it's very um it's definitely intense the energy on here there are some like kind of heavy kind of freeish um sounds but uh and it's live too which obviously changes the sound a little bit um but this is a, a deep, deep record, obviously, um, containing um, some, I don't know how to describe the, the content, but, um, you know, it, representative of the time of what they were experiencing. And um, yeah, you can feel it, uh, feel it in the music. Um, so different than the, the Matume album that I that I got from the 80s. It's kind of crazy to think that it's the, the same uh, same musician. Um, but just a killer lineup on here. Carlos Garnett, um, Leroy Jenkins, who always adds an intensity when you bring that violin into, into the jazz. Um, very different than Michael White on violin, who I find he adds a kind of element of uh, more on the spiritual jazz side, kind of deep soothing um and leroy i find always adds a more of like an intense vibe um to the music leaning towards the well not leaning fully in the the free vibe kind of um the dugu on drums gary bartz is one of my favorite um stanley cowell on piano is also one of my favorites and buster williams on bass who's also one of my favorite um really the lineup here is kind of just like a who's who of who i love listening to um, Billy Hart on drums, you got vocals by Andy Bay and Jolie Wilson, and a few other musicians on here as well doing vocals and poetry. Um, but yeah, just, this is a, a heavy, heavy piece that I will not be filing for a while. Um, some of these I will be filing because I need to make kind of some space and not have records everywhere. This is one I just listened to this morning, actually. Whatever's Fair by the Green Sisters, a gospel record. This is on Nashboro Records. Um, that's what the label looks like, although it says Mankind, but distributed by Nashboro Records. Um, really good, like, gospel, funk, soul. Um, the first track is a uh, theme for Sisters Green, which really is like a, a take on um, the theme from Shaft, but they're for themselves. Um, and yeah, I recommend this one. Not like a gospel expert or anything. Oh, here, these are loose here, I can show them too. That's what the label for Land of the Black looks like. Really cool variation on the, the Strata East label. Um, this is one I've been spinning, you know, kind of on, on repeat and uh, while I've been in the kitchen and stuff. And even my girlfriend has been enjoying it, which is, more than I can say about a lot of music I listen to, um, particularly jazz, but this is Simonde Promised Heights. Uh, this is their third one and um, promo copy. That's what the label looks like and just incredible grooves. Um, you just hear, I don't know, I'm sure it's been sampled a ton because I recognize some of the, the sounds, um, but it's definitely, um, you know, full of uh, funky grooves, nice drum breaks. Really, uh, really enjoy this. Another gospel one, Rosalind and Charles, um, Everything Must Change. These are kind of like, uh, I guess it was a, God. I bought, picked up three gospel records just kind of on a whim uh, on an eBay uh, auction because they were cheap. Um, 
This one, I think, it, yeah, from 1981. Also distributed by Nashboro, but it says on the label, Cherry Records. So I guess Nashboro distributed a, a variety of kind of gospel, uh, smaller gospel labels. Black Jazz one I didn't have, Doug Karn, Spirit of the New Land. Um, you know, you guys know this. I didn't have this one. Can't say uh, I know it super well. I definitely listened to it uh, a couple times in the kitchen and I enjoyed it. Didn't blow me away, but uh, solid, solid um, effort. Another promo copy. This is one that was a VC recommendation. I haven't listened to it yet. Um, cheap record, but uh, I saw a few people post it. Some nice modal jazz. Um, the Art Farmer Quartet, Sing Me Softly of the Blues. And you have Steve Kuhn on here, Steve Swallow and Pete LaRocca. Um, looking forward to that. And what else do I got here? This I've listened to a couple times. Really nice trio record, um, Why Not by George Cables. Um, this is kind of that generic cover of a bunch of the re rec releases on Why Not. Um, trio records um, from, um, from Japan. That's what the label looks like. Not like mind blowing must have, but really nice uh, chill record. <clears throat> this is, I can say probably my favorite, the next two are my two favorite, the ones I've listened to the most um, out of this crate so far. Um, this is Oneness of Juju. African Rhythms. This was uh, thanks to a man, Tom, uh, on Blackfire Records. Just everything that I love in a record. Um, kind of funky, um, groovy jazz, um, but still deep, uh, you know, just something I can play over and over again pretty much at any time of the day, um, whether it's early in the morning, late at night. Um, this one's going to resonate with me. Um, the vibe is just, for me, it's perfect. Um, so yeah, if you don't know this, recently reissued um, by Now Again and Vinyl Me Please, so definitely recommend you check this out. And another one with awesome cover work, um, cover art, and it kind of represents the music well, I would say. And sometimes you see a cover and you love it and the music's a little disappointing, but this one, uh, the music definitely um, matches the awesomeness of the cover and vice versa. This is something I discovered through people posting in the VC. This is Dance by Kamal Abdul Alim. And unbelievable record. Just very, very uplifting, happy, um, puts you in a good mood, jazz. Um, and it's from 1988, which is kind of crazy to think because it doesn't have any of that. Like it is, it's not as like, it's not slick like 80s records and doesn't have that 80s sounds, but it could fit in in the 70s, but since you know it's from the late 80s, you kind of, you realize, but it's, it really balances the well, the two really nicely. And uh, incredible lineup as well. James Spaulding, um, Bobby Watson, Idris Muhammad, spelt, um, spelt differently. And this is on Stash Records, label I don't know. Um, but this, So it's Kamal and the Brothers. And if you just look and listen to the name of the tracks, you have Dance, um, Peace, Brotherhood, and Prayer. So that kind of gives you a, an idea of what you're in for. And honestly, the titles really represent the songs. Another one like the, uh, like the Juju African Rhythms that I could pretty much listen to over and over again at any time of, of the day. And it's gonna resonate. Um, the cover on this obviously is still cool, but uh, not as deep as the uh, as the other one. More more eighties looking, um, but not super cheesy in any way. As you can see, July twenty sixth, nineteen eighty eight, which is um, the day before my birthday, July twenty seventh. Except not nineteen eighty eight. Um, highly recommend this one if you can track it down. It's kind of like going to be one of the favorite my favorites. Two I just showed two of the favorite my favorites in the collection. Um, this is a Detroit record, but one that I had bought online. Um, the Contemporary Jazz Quintet on Strata uh, location. 
Um, so this is um, Kenny Cox. He had released two, uh, two records on Blue Note uh, in the late 60s. This one is from the early 70s, I think 73. Um, promo copy. It's in pretty good shape. There's definitely a bit of surface noise, but the cover is in like perfect condition. Um, got this for a great price. Uh, I don't know what it, it's a promo copy, but it says distributed by Strata East Records. So very strange to me. I don't know what that means for the authenticity of that. Like, so yeah, distributed by Strata East. Got some dust built up on the on the needle there. Um, so this one is I I listened to it a couple times and it's cool. It's interesting, but nowhere near it doesn't resonate with me as much not something i'm going to listen to as much as the the last two i showed um and just um kind of almost like a play uh there's definitely some like of the um like miles davis vibe of the early 70s that electric sound um but it's very kind of there's space between the the grooves um it's a spacious sound and it's almost sounds like the interplay between the uh, the musicians is telling a story like there's someone on, should be someone on stage like performing. Uh, I couldn't really figure out what I thought the story was, um, but it was definitely interesting. It was dramatic. Um, so yeah, very different, um, not really groovy in the way the, the other two records are, um, but kind of a, an album to, um, to reflect and think and really kind of really uh, requires your your deep uh, attention next up we have Weldon Irvine uh, Cosmic Vortex love this cover love the record uh, more of like a kind of soul jazz effort um, love you brother walk that walk talk that talk love Jones uh, some funky uh, jazz grooves on uh, on RCA. Um, if you don't know Weldon Irvine, um, definitely check him out. Pianist, all his stuff from the seven, all the stuff that I have um, is really good. Uh, I don't know any of the musicians that he plays with, um, but yeah, check out Weldon Irvine. Someone uh, I discovered thanks to. Um, a guy that works at the record store here in Montreal when I was kind of first started collecting, uh, recommended him to me and I love everything that I've checked out of his. Um, his first two records are impossible to find and super expensive, um, but these RCA ones are a bit more reasonable. Well, a lot more reasonable. Um, here we have the missing piece in the puzzle in the catalog of Season for Love um, by Willie Hutch. Willie Hutch is someone I got into really early um, in terms of my record collecting journey. Um, I right away loved Willie Hutch. Uh, the first time I went out really digging, I found one of his records, didn't know who he was, and I, I dug the vibes right away. So I've been kind of, his stuff is easy to find, it's cheap, but his earlier records um, on RCA are a bit harder to find. Um, I have Soul Portrait, I've had it for a while and I've seen it a couple times. Um, but this one I'd never come across and I found a, a cheap copy online or cheaper than what it goes for. So I was happy to uh, to pick it up. And you know, it's, I would say I probably prefer his, well, th no, that's not true. I, I like it, his 70s stuff is is my favorite. Um, and s some of the songs on here are really good and others are just, you know, okay, still enjoyable. Um, but yeah, really happy to add this one to the collection, to the soul collection. This is one that kind of gets a bad rap. I, uh, I picked it up from Tom as well. So um, for now, adding it to the Black Jazz collection. I listened to it quickly and I kind of dug the vibes. Um, maybe I had lower expectations because of, you know, people saying they didn't like it as much. Um, but I'll have to give this one a couple more spins to see. Um, definitely different than the, the other Black Jazz records I have. Um, more on the soul kind of tip, soul jazz. Sir Edward, Power of Feeling. Um, 
Got this for a great price from Superior Elevation. Uh, I think they added on their Discogs. Actually, there's a note from uh, from Harold Vick inside. So if you don't know, Sir Edward is Harold Vick. Um, love this cover. This is on the Encounter label. Label I didn't know about until I think a year or two ago. Um, small, uh, small label, only a few um, releases. And um, they all kind of have this uh, this similar um, this similar look. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's Bernard Purdy's label, but now I can't remember. It's definitely a musician's label. I can't I can't remember. But um, if I'm wrong, correct me. I'll have to look that up after. Um, doesn't say who started the label, but I know it's a very well-known musician that we all love. So yeah, it's signed Harold Vick and then Sir Edward in brackets. May the creator watch over you and your family. There is music in everything if man had ears. Um, and yeah, dope. Uh, Joe Bonner plays on here. David Lee. That's what the uh, Encounter label. So a, a Harold Vick kind of 70s record that is not as well known because it's not under his name, I guess, because he was under contract with, uh, I don't know, I guess, who would you have been under contract with? Muse? I don't know. He released records on Muse on, uh, on uh, Strata East, they released one. Didn't have a copy of this, so added this uh, early Miles. Um, sex that someday my prince will come. I uh, didn't have this on CD, so I actually don't really know the, the music on this, but it was one um, that I had been missing with John Coltrane, Hank Mobley, Winton Kelly, Paul Chambers, and Jimmy Cobb. I did have another Miles record in here somewhere. ESP. I had this on CD more from the, the later Miles. Well, not later, but later 60s. Um, his kind of classic uh, second lineup, Miles Davis, Wayne Shorter, Tony Williams, um, Ron Carter, and Herbie Hancock. Classic, classic stuff as he starts to get into the more, um, his transition out of the early 60s stuff. Um, I got a whole bunch more, that's about half the crate, um, but I'll probably leave it at that because I already at 23 minutes and the record is over. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. I uh, got a whole bunch of stuff left in here. I think probably the, the heavy hitters have been shown, but there's some really good jazz left in here, um, some good soul, um, some free jazz, some more, uh, some hard bop, and all types of stuff, some funk. Anyway, hope everyone's doing well. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, subscribe to the channel, Needle Groove. And once again, my name is Kieran, and I'll be back soon. Peace.